The competition is, is composed of four kind of different types of teams. So we have the blue teams, which are composed of graduate and undergraduate students um, from various universities. And, and they're actually building and setting up on the networks. The challenge that's posed to the students is uh, to protect um, a piece of critical infrastructure. In this case, it's um, represented by a Raspberry Pi that's running an LED light. The Raspberry Pis we have simulate an industrial control system which is controlling the grid. So as such, they all have a small light on them. That light represents power to a house or a city. A lot of these critical infrastructure were built a long time ago and don't have inherent security measures built into them. They were built for local access only or hands-on access. So when we plug them in the internet, a lot of security measures are needed to kind of protect these and make sure only the authorized users are accessing them. Which is very accurate in the real world. Um, there's no authentication, there's no encryption, there's no security, and so you have to build security around that stuff. Then um, the red team is in charge of trying to break in and cause damage and cause chaos and aspects along those lines. So we're, we're simulating attacks that would be uh, designed to potentially steal sensitive information, potentially installing backdoors, uh, monitoring that service uh, for nefarious purposes. I think Argon's uh, red team is very skilled. We didn't expect all of these attacks. We thought we thought from our previous experience we might have learn more with security and patch up all these previous mistakes we made, but I guess there's more mistakes we make and there's a lot of loopholes that we didn't find, backdoors, and we're still learning in the, in the face that we're uh, while we're doing this uh, competition. So uh, there, was a, there was a couple teams where we had kind of a back and forth going on. And so obviously when you get privileged access, that's kind of an, a really exciting thing. This is the first time I'm seeing the real time attacks. So how they're attacking, how, how we are defending. So it's uh, really amazing. And then you kind of wait and see how long it takes for the team to realize you're there. And then you can start seeing the teams like do things to remove your access. But we try to stay one step ahead, which is we create additional methods of access, additional back doors. It gives you like an environment to practice in with, like, I guess, not as serious of consequences. Then we have on the green teams, which are judging kind of the usability of the systems. So these users over here are trying to make sure that they can get in and actually do things or even navigate the website in a user-friendly manner that's not making them sit there and tap their fingers. The more they have to tap their fingers on that table, the lower that score is going to go. Um, and then the white team is there for judging and scoring and, and to basically at the end determine who wins the competition. So the white team's broken into two parts. There's a technical aspect and there's a documentation aspect as well. So we helped uh, devise and set up the network uh, through the various technologies that are used and their configurations. And then we reviewed the team's implementations to make sure that they were being run correctly. So we're, we're pretty excited to see how it all plays out and excited for the scores to come out to see who eventually wins the competition.